Away from that story, as the world marks another World Sickle Cell Day on the 19th of June, sickle cell warriors have called on intended couples to take testing seriously and shun getting married to persons capable of birthing offsprings with sickle cell disorder. Some of them spoke exclusively to Plus TV Africa in Abuja, saying though sickle cell is not a death sentence, couples must heed their warning because of the burden associated with caring for persons diagnosed with the ailment. The first thing I, I believe I think needs to change is to actually find a way to put a stop to uh, the idea of giving birth to a sickle cell warrior. You know what I'm saying? I don't. Uh, I know some churches are doing that. Like before getting married, <clears throat> you have to provide your genotype um, is a test and results and everything. Um, but I think, I believe we need to do more to just try and eradicate that first. There's so many, um, diseases or disorders that are managed properly, you know, you have diabetes and people live with it for so long. The high BP is there, people live with it because they manage it. and. Honestly, sickle cell falls in this category of management. You know, it's something you can manage and live with it. Even if you don't have a cure, you can still manage it, you know. And this is why warriors are living long now. This management comes into play when you know your do's and don'ts. If the genotype of the parents are not much, as in terms of a patient, a person can be AX or AA or SS. Now, AA is safe, uh, it doesn't have the sickle cell uh, deformity or gene. Now, if a parent, if both parents are AS, of course, you know that there are chances of having CSS, which is sickle cell disorder. 